This short video reviews a simple but high-grade idea called rate of change. Now, in this graph we've got a container which is being filled with water and it's got, to start off with, five centimetres of water in it and after eight seconds the depth of the water is now 11 centimetres. And the question could ask for the rate of change of the depth of water in the first eight seconds. So the rate of change of the depth of water in the first eight seconds. Now to find this out we do a really, really, really simple calculation. And it involves gradients. In those eight seconds we find how much the depth of water has changed by. Well, it's gone from 5 to 11. So the depth increased by 6 centimetres. And that took a total of 8 seconds. And to find the rate of change of the depth of water, all we do is we work out the change in the depth, which can be called the rise, which is 6, divided by the time taken, which is 8. And it can be called rise over tread or rise over the run. And that's called the gradient, which works out to be 0 0.75 or 3 quarters, and the units are centimetres per second. And what this means is that every second the depth of the water in the container went up by 0.75 of a centimetre. So again, if you're asked to find a rate of change, we look at the gradient. We look at what it's increased by and how long it took, and we do the change in height over the time. And in the next video we look at an example where the graph is not a straight line.